Good morning, and welcome to Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Tequesta, Florida. I'm Joan Enskow, and I'm your facilitator today. And we will be doing morning prayer right too. And uh, I welcome those that are live with us right now, which is Pam and Ian, Debbie and Wendy and Julie. And um, so it's a beautiful day. It's a crisp and cool. It must be down to 65. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm on my way down to, as Leanne said, to have a hot day, but it's uh it's having my teeth cleaned. So I'll be abruptly finishing and blessing you all and turning it off and leaving because <laughs> I have to get to Broward County uh, down in Pompano by uh, uh, 11 o'clock. So I'm going to fly. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we will begin our morning prayer and, um, and uh, we'll take a moment to uh, relax and join Jesus. Watch, for you know not when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crow, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, and that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to God, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. Together we will say the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great king, a great God, and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us now bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the, nor the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. This morning we say Psalm 25 together. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love. 
and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he teaches sinners in his way. He guides the humble in doing right and teaches his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who are they who fear the Lord? He will teach them the way that they should choose. They shall dwell in prosperity, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The Lord is a friend of those who fear him and will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have pity on me, for I am left alone and in misery. The sorrows of my heart have increased. Bring me out of my troubles. Look upon my adversity and misery and forgive me all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for there are many, and they bear a violent hatred against me. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have trusted in you. Let integrity <coughs> excuse me, and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson this morning is in chapter 7 of Amos. This is what the Lord God showed me. He was forming locust at the time. The latter growth began to sprout. It was the latter growth after the king's mowings. When they had finished eating the grass of the land, I said, O oh Lord God, forgive, I beg you. How can Jacob stand? He is so small. The Lord relented concerning this. It shall not be, said the Lord. This is what the Lord God showed me. The Lord God was calling for a shower of fire, and it devoured the great deep and was eating up the land. Then I said, O oh Lord God, cause, cease, I beg you. How can Jacob stand? He is so small. The Lord relented concerning this. This also shall not be, said the Lord God. This is what he showed me. The Lord was standing beside a wall built with a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the, <clears throat> and the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, a plumb line. Then the Lord said, see, I am setting a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. I will never again pass them by. The high places of Isaac shall be made desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste. And I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The first song of Isaiah, say together. Surely, it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense. And he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, bring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. 
Our second lesson is Revelations chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testified to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of the prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia. Grace to you and peace from him who is and was, who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the church. To him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood and made us to be a kingdom, priests serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on his account, all the tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord. God who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saying together now the song of the redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because you're just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. 
Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us through your Holy Spirit. The colic of the day, the second Sunday of Advent. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. A collect of peace. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all the sorts of our enemies, that we surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now a prayer for guidance. O oh God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment, and light rises up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts, and continue the prayers for our sake. Would have a, what the Lord would have me to do, and that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, and that in our light we may see light, and in your straight path may not stumble through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Bathurst, Australia, the Right Reverend Mark Calder, Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our companion dioceses, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Osh Zang Boyd, Sr., Bishop. For mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in the vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them. Remembering today especially, Ricardo, Rick, Kay, Liz, Jeff, Elizabeth, Christopher, Margaret, Ray, Bill and Barbara, Barbara, Melanie, Lori, Linton and Gloria. Nancy, Shirley, Robert, and Leslie. We pray also today for our worship ministries, remembering especially the altar guilt, that through prayerful attention to detail, all of God's children may experience the mystery of the Eucharist and Eucharistic visitors, that homebound members of Good Shepherd may share in the communion of Christ's body and blood. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the quiet, the silence of your heart. Ian says, Thanksgiving for my sister Kate on the occasion of her 60th birthday. Oh, happy birthday to Kate. And for all of those who have this wonderful time this December to celebrate their birthdays, knowing that everyone is celebrating Christmas. <laughs> May she have a happy birthday and her, her years ahead be and this year ahead especially be filled with joy, peace, and and love in Jesus' name. Amen. And I would like to pray for those who are um, who are in the throes of recovering from tornadoes. Seven of them, I understand, up there in in uh, Tennessee, and uh, any of the, anyone who is in in discomfort at this time of Christmas. Anyone, and especially those who've lost homes, lives, with weather. The weather is, seems to be furious at times. And with the cold and snow and, and terrible, terrible tornadoes, it's, we bless them, Lord. Give them strength and courage to get through their losses and to know that God and his holy angels will be with them to guard and guide them in strength. And encouragement. And we, uh, Wendy says, pray for, for Harry Hawk. And, and um, yes, uh, Harry is, has lost his dear wife, Kathy, and our dear friend. And, and we do pray for Harry. I'm certain that the love of his life and someone who has been so close to him for so many years, it, it's difficult. But she is in such a wonderful place with Jesus. And Harry, we pray for you, your whole family, all her grandchildren, her children, who love her dearly and her dear friends here especially. And we thank you for guiding Harry and strengthening him in this time of loss. In Jesus' name. And uh, Thanksgiving for our new rector, Father Sanford. Yes, may he be to use a uh, may he be to use a faithful pastor who care for us and equip us for our ministries. And we've had one wonderful weekend having him installed him to, as as our rector, and uh, and to help Father Derek. Father Derek looks so relaxed and happy to have him there. <laughs> It was, it was a wonderful occasion for Saturday and, and Sunday if you were there to join us and welcome our new rector, our new rector. And we thank him for being here with us, dear Father Sanford. Yes. And pray for Bill and Renee. Letty's um, asked for that for her for family. And, um, and uh, Wendy, of course, I said, uh, ask for prayers for Harry. And, uh, and we pray for everyone in this hectic time of, of travel and preparation for the coming of our King. Remember, Jesus is the reason for this season. <laughs> and and uh, be comforted with knowing you are guided by God's angels as you prepare for this wondrous, wondrous birth. And uh, let's see, where am I now? <laughs> Thank you for your prayers. I appreciate it. Um, a prayer for guidance. Oh God, by whom the meek and guided. Nope, nope, nope. I already have that. I to turn my page. Excuse me. It's the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth 
and in the age to come, life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. In glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord and be kind to everyone. We never know what's going on with them. Amen. Peace.